As you can see, this is a red Jordan 1 box, so it's probably a woman's pair. No, it's definitely a woman's pair. It belongs to her because they did me dirty again. Nike Jordan brand, you did me dirty. Welcome back to Doggy to another episode of Freaking Sneaks. Today we'll be going to the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. I think it's all those things on this one. And the Wash Pink colorway. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to catch all the content we have on this channel. At the end of the video, make sure you leave a comment below if you bang with it. I bang with them, but they didn't come out in extended sizes or sizes for all, Nike. And make sure to check out all social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, TikTok, I'm out here. But let's hop into the review of this nice clean shoe. Yeedy. Now, not your regular black and red box, it's the red and black box that I do feel like it's exclusive to women only Jordan 1s. One more time, that is for her. Pretty salty about that. I have two other ones. Yeah, we know this. Women's Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. See, it did have all those words and letters. And the colorway is Atmosphere White Muslin Sail. Like, I, if you get past the first three words on this, just stop talking. I'm tired of these women exclusive shoes. See, I'm with the inclusion. But this isn't including. Make shoes for everyone. And if they sit, they sit. Most of your products are sitting right now anyway because you did too much in the last three years. Once you open up this box, oh, this came with shoelaces too. You get paper, paper. I'm, I'm really tight. And there's a zero, nice little zero case. Now you just want to grab. Y'all can see this right here. Ooh, look at that. It looks like a movie. A movie that I'm angry about. Like the ending is gonna be really bad here, right? So in front of me, we have these wash pink Air Jordan ones. Now, the issue, like I told you, is that they only came out in women's sizing, which means that a 12W in women is a 10 and a half in men. So I can't fit these unless I cut my toes off. And I'm not doing that. Jordan brand, why do you do these things to me and other sneaker heads? I don't get it. Do you think that I wouldn't wear pink? Cause this shoe is absolutely fire. The shoe is actually based off, I guess, not even loosely, like for real, like for real, for real, for real, for real. The Hyper Royals and the Turbo Greens that we've gotten in the past couple years, where they give you like this wash sail looking color to go with some suede, and it's just fire. Turbo Greens and Hyper Royals back in the day were slept on, at least Turbo Greens. People returned them, they were going for cheap on the resale market, and then they came out with Hyper Royals a couple years later, and everybody wanted those because they didn't have the green joints. And now you would think that they would give this for everyone, but they didn't. And it doesn't make any sense because we got another colorway coming out that's similar to this with that age and sale wash fill, the black pair, I think they call it the heritage smoke or something. But that's full sizing, so why is the pink one not full sizing besides, I guess, because pink belonged to women or something, which is, doesn't make sense in this world of inclusion currently. It just doesn't make any sense. You don't even have to say nothing. Back to the video. Let's talk about some of the materials here. Starting off with your toe cap, you are greeted with this nice pink suede. Looking at your toe box, you have this nice white leather. And the leather is nice. Like, we were just talking about it off camera. These, this leather is like... Buttery. Buttery. For a GR1. Then as you head towards the midsection of your shoe, you'll see that there's more suede there in pink, but that's washed which gives it like an age feel. Almost like seeing Gap jeans in the 90s or something. I don't know, when I think of age and retro, I think of like early 90s when I was a kid, but that's not that far ago. You also have more of that white leather and a suede pink swoosh. This swoosh is fire, yo. Why is this for women's only? I don't get it. Heading towards the back of your shoe on your heel, you have more of that wash pink suede, as well as a little bit of white leather. Heading to your collar, you have a new buck muslin sail collar, which feels plush. Is this a premium one? This was just 180 bucks, right? This doesn't make any sense. I, I, I'm losing it. Out here, yo. I don't get it. Why is this not available in my size? To make it look prettier and nicer, whatever you adjective you want to use there, because these are fire. You have the sail tongue tag. It's nylon. I'm not the biggest fan of nylon, so I'm going to call that out. You have a white tongue tag with Nike right there in pink. You have sail laces just to give it more of that vintage feel. And if you didn't want those, she said earlier, pink laces. I just don't, why did this Jordan get two pair of laces and other ones don't? I don't think my OG Panda 81, 81 highs 
Yeah, she watched that. Came with two laces. Please talk about the box that it comes in. Yeah, what about this box? No, the laces. Yeah, what about this laces? It's recyclable. Yeah. That's new. It usually comes with plastic or nothing. You got. I like that a lot. You got recycled laces too. Well, you can keep them in the box, you know, like the plastic used to be. Yeah, but like, why, why do you get special laces? Finishing off the shoe because I'm getting hot. You have the sale midsole. It's all pink outsole. Let's hop into according to my calculations to get down to the nitty gritty though. These watch pink Jordan 1s came out April 22nd at a price point of 180 bucks. Which I guess is the price of ones for men. Because a lot of times in this size, this actually might be $150. But I don't think any woman's complaining right now because they're fire. Or any male that wears like a 10 or 10 and a half. A big feet game. Or a human. Yeah, a human. Maybe even my dog. They're actually only going for retail right now. I wonder if that's still part of that fatigue of Air Jordan 1s. Maybe because they cut big feet gang people off at the ankles or the feet or the toes. I don't know. I don't know why they're going for retail. This shoe to me should be like three, four hundred bucks on the resale market. Nothing should be that price. Everyone should be able to go get them if they want. But I just, I'm shocked that these aren't fire and just being reflected like that on the resale market. What is the resale? 182 bucks. Oh my gosh. Go get them. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Like, the 12 Stop women. Stop what you're doing. And go get them. And it's if you have the right suit, shoe size, go, go get, get them. them. Like, the 12 W, which is the biggest size, where a lot of men can still wear, is only going for $182. At the fees, that's like 210 That's the price of a GR Jordan. But these are way better than that. I can try them on, but you tried them on, and you said they're fire. So comfortable. Like, the most comfortable Jordan 1 high I have ever worn. And she's saying that we just we just did the Spider-Man joints. She has the Lost and Founds. She doesn't think the Lost and Founds are comfortable at all. These are way more comfortable than those, and they're only women's only. So I'm just hot again. Like, I'm just sad. Me, just seeing this shoe, outside of that 9 on tongue, I would probably give this like a 9.5. To have, like, maybe only one pink shoe, and it'd be a Jordan 1 with this type of material... It's fire the fact that they gave a recycled pink extra laces and then like I don't know I'm just high I would give this a nine and a half I just want wish I could wear them you don't want to give these a grade huh Ten. Oh, she usually doesn't give grades and I think you heard her say that pretty fast these are fire to me yo a comfortable one with a different color with elevated materials this is like a premium dunk not an SB but a premium dunk that I do a lot of reviews of on the channel. This is like the equivalent of that, but a one. And I think you should give it a try if you have retail Jordan one price money sitting around. Not even 300, 400 bucks. This would this would do a lot of harm to Nike and their imprint on collabs. I don't need a collab with my GRs like this. See, typically my GRs go up 20, 30 bucks, or typically Jordans go up 20, 30 bucks before you get materials like this. So that's why I'm like, why is this being stepped on? But y'all let me know in the comments below if you're messing with these wash pink ones, if you have Turbo Green, Hyper Royal, or if you're inter interested in those black smoky joints coming out in like two months or so. And rank them if you want. On my story, I think I gave them all Pokemon names. Like these were the Chanseys and the black joints was Jinx and the blue joints was Lapras. And actually, I think I remember all the Pokemon. Figure Sneak's got a couple more. And the green joints were Scyther. But, um... Balthazar? Nah, Balthazar is not a Pokemon. But until the next video, I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all pretty angry, too. Bye-bye. And then they have, like, that almost gas, sharpie smell in it. They're fire. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. <sighs> but see, when I can't put a shoe, she's supposed to go get it so I can live vicariously through her. And that's what we did here, because fire, yo. I'm hot. Not not the hoodie, because it's the summer and I'm wearing a hoodie. Do you wear them or do you sit on them? These? I think you should wear these.